Hey guys, this will be another type of video, no music, just me talking a little bit about my car that I purchased. I bought it from a French guy I was traveling with and I did some conversions and minor fixing on the car before driving down to Tully and right now I will be doing my farm work, working on a banana farm, either humping bananas or packing them and yeah just see how it goes but in the meantime took my time to uh, take the opportunity to make a little video about the car and uh, how I fixed everything and built my bed so let's go so this car is a Ford Fairmont and uh, it has a Western Australia plate and the good thing about the Western Australia plate is that uh, you can just do the registration online so you don't have to be in the territory for that and that makes it like a really valuable plate to purchase so when you get a car in Australia try to find one of these with the Western Australia plate and so just to start from the outside I put some sun coverings on here so I can put the windows down at night and have a nice breeze going through and it somehow covers a little bit um, the side inside the car and I have those black window covers on both sides so as I said I will just have a nice breeze going through from both sides and as you can see I put my water tank in there so I have easy and quick access to water I have a small camping table two chairs this is the console I changed because the switches were broken on this one but I'm gonna keep it uh, as spare parts because you can always use them there's also a little fan from the previous owners and here you have a lot of storage room you can use I have like a tarp in there, my bag some sleeping bags or tents uh, if you need to have quick access to it and on this side um, I didn't put any feet on here because the bed is also already pretty stable and it's just held by four other legs that I'm going to show you from the back side if you open here this is the entrance to the whole bed it has a very nice uh, blanket from previous owners, very nice pillows and the mattress is from IKEA which is pretty solid. And if you lift that up I just put some uh, documentation stuff on here. But um, I attached those um, wooden, how do you call it, wooden timber to both sides to have a fixing and uh, as the legs there's just two legs on both sides which is holding um, the timber going from the width and two long timbers which are two meters long which go down all the way behind and this makes it already pretty stable those are just the curtains you can quickly attach them on here to have a full covering and they are white on the inside so it uh, is also a nice look and there is also a small light chain which uh, gives it a whole comfortable feeling and uh, I can use the sides as some uh, smaller storage and have some quick access to my hammock for example or have some books here which were left and you can use all kinds of storages like uh, in here for my gas tanks and as the height I calculated the height of those boxes from the reject shop they are pretty long and those are just ten dollars and you can store a lot of stuff in there this is the rest of my kitchen stuff and I could manage to fit three of them in length so usually I put my clothes in here 
with some other stuff. I have my food in this storage and in this storage there's my whole camping gear which uh, also came along with the car. So there's just basically the stuff that you need for camping like pots and cutlery, dish cleaning, some herbs, pan, sponges, whatever. And in this way you have a very quick access to everything and those boxes are pretty useful so yeah and underneath the boxes below this wooden plate there's uh, some more storage I made free for just stuff that you don't need really need quite often and there was this flat tire inside so I just attached it to the roof it's uh, still flat so I have to fix that tire it's maybe only $30 and I just attach them with those strings in direction of driving because when you attach them uh, vertically you will have them flapping in the wind all the time and you don't want to have that sound because when I drove out from Cairns I had a loud noise coming from somewhere from the car and when I drove above 60 to 80 kilometers per hour they just started to frequent uh, flapping and I thought my engine is broken and I started to panic but everything went fine in the end and yeah this is just the side passenger seat uh, it has some broken parts but that's totally fine because the car was built in 1997 so that's already 22 years but the engine runs perfectly the mechanic in Cairns told me he doesn't like those types of cars because uh, the engine never breaks or it's it doesn't have a lot of problems with the engine so I knew that this is a good investment it's an automatic gear shift which is better than the manual because you know that people cannot fuck up the gear because when the gear breaks it's a lot of money that goes in and I just did some uh, smaller organizations and yeah, a good thing about this car is also that you have a cassette in there which has those cables. So I've never, I didn't see them since maybe 10 years or whatever. So I was quite happy to have some old school stuff in this car as well. Um, this is just a control board which looks more than a cockpit, than a driver's seat. Yeah, and uh, this compartment is also nice for storage, especially when you organize all your batteries in there. If you're camping and you need new batteries, I have my headlight in there as well. And not a lot of other stuff. But yeah, that's uh, nearly basically it. The last part is this uh, sun blocker and I just attach it to here so it's covered from the front but I guess I have to get a black one because you don't want um, some people flashing their lights on the silver material because then it's quite obvious when you're sleeping and yeah I think that's basically it this car cost me 1300 to buy it and I did some minor fixings and repairments i think the bed was about 50 dollars plus the boxes let's say around 100 to get uh, light bulbs fixed and everything and so in the end i'm around 1500 dollars right now which is in euros um around thousand euros but with the bed it makes it a lot more valuable and it was quite fun to build the bed together with Rob who stayed in Cairns as well and he helped me doing some minor fixings and I also want to show you another fixing that I did because two, those two windows here the one in the back and the one in the front didn't work and I was trying to find out why they are not working and uh, the previous owners had two nails going in here and in here holding the window up 
and uh, there was no sound from the motor on the back side and when I opened up this lid I, I saw that those two screws are holding up the window and it's not attached to the motor so the first thing I did was to see if the motor is working with a multimeter and it wasn't working and when I went to another mechanic he just attached the motor from the main console to it and said that uh, this switch is broken it's either melted or burned through so if I try to get someone who has this part then it should be totally all right and I found a retailer in Cairns um, that has parts from Ford before 2000 because most of them just have parts that are um, let's say 10 years from now so it was not very easy to find it but I found it so thanks to those guys because that fixed my problem in the rear window and the motor from the front window was working because it had uh, a vibration sound coming and the motor also drove up and down so I just knew that I had to get those two screws which were attached here um, out and reattach it to the motor it has some um, not correct leveling of the window so sometimes you just have to hold your hand on the window so it doesn't dump it doesn't jump out of place but yeah, that fixed uh, my problem of those two windows to get my cross breeze through the car when I'm driving or when uh, you're sleeping in that car. I mean, the hay is not a lot, but it's, let's say, um, the double of your head size and it's totally fine when you're opening both rear windows. And the last thing is, when you're camping you're cooking because food is one of the most important things in life next to sleeping that's why you should always make sure you have a nice mattress and I just have two stoves here and those uh, can be um, attached to a gas can and then you can cook with it let's say five to seven dishes and you get four gas cans for five dollars so that's also pretty cheap and I make sure that I have all my tools pretty fast available for other types of fixing or if somebody else has to fix something from his car. Um, I have screwdrivers in there and other stuff which is quite useful to fix everything. Yeah, and that's the bottom side of my bed. <coughs> and if you're also building a bed, make sure that you have some space between the timber or the mattress to have a how do you say it um, a constant circulation of air because you don't want to get uh, this mattress wet uh, during your traveling because everything that gets wet uh, can have some mold on it and then you don't get the smell out or you have to chuck away your mattress and you don't want to spend extra money on that because when you're traveling it's all about uh, making uh, the best out of the things you have and saving a lot of uh, money. So it's always good to talk to people or drive around and ask everyone what is the best stuff for your car. Yeah. If you have any questions or whatever, you can just write it in the comments and I can um, answer all of your questions, but yeah. baby I'm gonna use it for the first months of traveling because the motor is nice it has a lot of acceleration power and I'm planning on selling it if there's a someone who buys it pretty good and then stacking up to the next car like a camper van or maybe a four-wheel drive so I can drive inlands to the Ayas Rock and yeah stay tuned because you never know when the next car is coming around which is getting fixed by me or and building a new bed inside because it's so much fun so see you guys